B and D, and we get a position report on the CRJ that they're that they're now transitioning from one to thirty-three, coming over this way, okay. And let's say that they're they're over here, and it seems like oh man, this is getting kind of close. What could we do now? When I say kind of close, I mean. We're totally in the safe zone here. They're not even remotely close, but we don't want them to get close. But we can we can see by the reports that there's going to be a crosser, and we don't want to have a crosser because we have our new best practice, okay, for separation. So we can simply, very easily in this scenario, slow the Blackhawk down. All right, so we can tell PAT25 reduce to four zero knots. Report location D. So reducing, and so they acknowledge reducing speed to four zero knots. And now they report position D, and if everything went good and they slowed down, they would get to position D a lot slower than they would have if they were at 80. And our CRJ can just come right on down the line. But let's say that they don't slow down. They say they did, but they didn't. And now they're coming inbound, right? And we have our CRJ that's that's approaching. So what can we do? Well, we can have the CRJ go around. There should never be any instance where that would have ever been remotely close. And so when we're reading about this stuff, you're seeing just, it's going to be interesting to see what the fundamental breakdown was. So what would be the holes in the Swiss cheese? Well, um, that would be not good pronunciation. That would be poor best practice. That would be no flight experience, no understanding of what it's like in the cockpit. That would be poor usage of tools. So if, you're, if you start to break down in little areas, little things, all these things that we were taught that are really important, um, then, then it can lead to disastrous consequences. And so the information that's coming out right now is, you know, this has been going on for decades. It's been leading up to this for a long time. So the amount of change that's going to be required is going to be drastic. But the first thing, and I've heard that they are doing a little bit of this from what I understand, You've got to get into each one of these facilities. You start with the higher traffic areas. They need to overlay all the data that they have, just like they did here. So you take all these terminal control areas, okay? You take SeaTac, all right, because we live out here, and 